Okay guys, in this video I'm going to show you three ways how you can fade in and fade out video in Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's show you first how you can fade in a video by using a cause dissolve and film dissolve effect. So I'm going to go to effects and from there I already typed film dissolve. I'm going to take this effect and drag it at the beginning of the video. And when I play it now, We've got this quick fading effect. So if you want to change the length of this effect, you can click on it and drag it to the right. So like that, you're going to make the effect last longer. And when I play it now, you can see the difference. Or if you want to make it shorter, you can drag it to the left. And you can see that now it's much quicker. And we're going to do exactly the same to create this fade out effect as well. Again, I'm going to grab these effects and place it at the end of the video. And when I play it again, you can see that we've got this fade out effect. So that's the first way how to achieve this fade in and fade out effect. I'm gonna delete them quickly and type cross dissolve. Okay, that's it. Basically it's similar, if not the same effect, but there is some kind of difference between cross dissolve and film dissolve. And if you ask me, I don't know what is it, but let me, applied to the video it's basically the same thing and when i play it now as you can see there is not much difference so there's the fade in and then i'll place it at the end of the video and that will be the fade out effect and it's simple as that but now the third way to do the fade in and fade out effects it's also easy and personally i prefer doing it this way because you've got more control on to the fade in and fade out effect i'll make the video bigger so you can see the line better so yeah as you can see let me just go even closer as you can see there is a line across this video and this is the opacity line so if you can't see it on your videos you can click with the right button of the mouse go to opacity and click on opacity and then after that you're gonna have this line so basically what you do with this line it's controlling the opacity of the video so for example if i hold control for windows and command for mac and as you can see nearby the cursor of the mouse, we've got a plus. So I'm going to click at the beginning of the video and like that we have created a keyframe. Then I will go to two seconds and create another keyframe and then go back to the first keyframe and drag it to the very bottom of this video. And now you can see that the opacity is zero. So when I play it now from the beginning, we've got this fading effect and if I go to the end of this video it's basically the same way of doing it i'm going to create a keyframe here and then keyframe at the end of the video and then again i'm going to drag the last keyframe to the very bottom of the video and then i'm going to leave it like that and when i play it now we've got a fade out effect and that's it for that tutorial guys i hope you enjoy it that's how you can create fade in and fade out effect for any videos in adobe premiere pro it's super easy to do it and it's up to you which way you're gonna use to create these effects thank you for watching and i'll see you next time